Insurance against extreme weather and natural disasters has been lacking in Africa for a long time. That's why the African Union decided to set up a specialized agency a couple of years ago to tackle the problem. Fatima, what exactly is your institution doing? We offer sovereign level weather insurance to governments, to African governments, to decrease reliance on external aid for droughts, floods, cyclone. They can receive insurance payments to assist vulnerable populations. Why are these kind of insurances important and why have we seen them only lately in Africa? First, the risk markets actually were not sufficiently developed until maybe early 2000s um, to do real uh, scaled weather parametric weather insurance. But I think in Africa, um, we've always relied on sort of the same international assistance system. Um, but it came that governments really do know what they need to do and when they need to do it. But often the early warning, warning systems, which are quite sophisticated, and the operational response are not linked to risk financing. And we're reliant on, on external aid to do that. Um, so I think the product actually just comes at a time when governments were ready to take on that responsibility. Um, and heads of state um, also saw this as a very urgent priority given the food security situation after significant droughts in, in the Horn of Africa and the Sahel um, and mandated the creation of the African Risk Capacity in 2012. Where the ARC funds come from? Are they from different governments? Are they from the African Union itself? We have a two-tiered structure. So we have an international organization. The agency itself is donor funded at $10 million a year. Um, but the African governments that take out insurance take out insurance by paying a premium of three to four million dollars a year for about 30 million dollars of cover. This year we have nine countries participating who have, who have paid 25 million dollars for about 190 million of cover um, and that comes from internally generated revenues in the countries. It goes into um, the African Risk Capacity Insurance Company which was capitalized with returnable equity from the German and UK governments uh, last year at about uh, 200 million dollars. So if I'm an African farmer, how can I access those funds? Or is it only indirectly? It's indirect. We do insure governments and some of those governments will use the, the, the payouts to be able to hedge against um, claims in their agricultural insurance programs. Um, but we do insure governments uh, for the most vulnerable populations and often those are not ones with assets. Now tell me, cutup has been around for about 10 years now. How does the ARC relate to those ideas, to the concept, to the framework of CADEP? We're a very integral part of CADEP Pillar 3, which is the improved um, emergency response and food security. Um, and ARC eventually will hopefully be used by governments to protect those investments going into their CADEP business plans um, and their investment plans uh, over time to raise the resilience threshold of the populations. What would you like the donors to know about your institution? We're, there are a lot of governments that want to take up the insurance, and that is governments taking responsibility and being accountable to, to respond to their vulnerable populations. But it will take time for governments to also build their capacities to absorb those funds. And so um, when you have a cost-effective system like ARC, it would be interesting, I think, for donors to assist other international organizations like the World Food Program or, or other um, others working in food security to match those countries that are already taking steps to manage their own risk and have and purchase matching policies. Thank you very much. Thanks.